My name is Rafael Abelar, and I work for the United Nations Office for South South Cooperation. Um, I work specifically with content management for the South South Galaxy platform. Um, so um, today uh, I'm here to not only present the platform and also talk a little bit about the work that we're doing at UNOSSC, um, but also to answer to your questions. Um, we are very pleased with the fact that uh, the, the Brazil Africa Institute um, has incorporated uh, like a, a galaxy as an element um, of the, 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 the IBRAF Fellowship for South South Cooperation. And um, so we look very forward to um, helping you in this process. Um, so uh, before I start talking about um, the, the galaxy itself. I want to talk a little bit about the UNOSSC and the work that we do. So the United Nations Office for South South Cooperation um, is uh, a specialized UN agency that works with um, facilitating South South uh, horizontal exchanges um, for, uh, for sustainable development. So we work as sort of a bridge um, and our work consists in uh, bringing, bringing partners together so they can um, cooperate towards the sustainable development goals. So one of the ways that we are doing this is through this digital um, knowledge sharing and platform and, and, and partnership brokering platform um, called South, South, South Galaxy. Uh, the Galaxy was, um, was launched in 2019, so it's less than two years old. Um, but as you will see um, from the presentation, the, the platform is growing very fast and we are also opening uh, new areas of, and new, new uh, uh, tools for uh, stimulating and facilitating South South cooperation. Um, so um, this is how I'm going to structure my presentation. Uh, first, I will show you a, a brief PowerPoint on the galaxy. Um, after that, I will give you a, a little walk through the website so you can see all of the all of the features yourselves. And then we will open for questions. Um, so um, so I'm open to to answering. Um, any of your questions that, that that are related to the platform or to how you can use it for the fellowship. Um, okay, so without further ado, let me share my screen so we can show you the presentation. Can you see my screen? Yeah? Yeah, okay. that's perfect. Yeah. All right, so, um, so as I said, uh, the Galaxy is a knowledge sharing partnership brokering platform. So basically we have two different um, sides of the platform. The first one, uh, when it comes to knowledge sharing, we are a repository of South-South and triangular cooperation development solutions. Uh, so these are uh, the good practices that we talk about, right? So. On the Galaxy, you will find um, almost 600, I, I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, almost 600 good practices uh, in South South and Triangular Cooperation. They are targeting all 17 SDGs. Um, that's, uh, and also you will find um, other, other knowledge products, publications, research, um, um, and also uh, information on events, information on uh, capacity development initiatives and opportunities, uh, financing opportunities, uh, and, and much more. Um, I will show you on the website. And, and then when it comes to partnership brokering, um, these solutions and organizations that are registered on the Galaxy, they are able to interact with one another and, and collaborate on, um, collaborate on uh, a joint project or just exchange knowledge and ideas. So let me rewind to 2019. So 
Um, what, what was uh, understood uh, from the office perspective uh, was that um, there was this consensus that South South uh, uh, South South cooperation works. So why does it work? Um, um, South South cooperation um, is a horizontal term. Uh, is the horizontal uh, means of cooperation where um, countries can share knowledge and exchange ideas and and collaborate uh, without the the usual hierarchy uh, that we have with traditional uh, 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 cooperation schemes. So um, it, there's also this, um, it's kind of an obvious uh, uh, an asset for South-South cooperation. Uh, that is the fact that um, Southern countries have a lot more uh, in common with one another than they would have with developed countries. So um, uh, in a lot of ways, South-South cooperation uh, kind of takes um, takes ownership of the knowledge that that exists in the south and and and, and uses it in order to uh, multiply uh, the benefits of cooperation. So um, south south cooperation is not trying to replace traditional schemes of cooperation. North south cooperation um, is still very important. Um, and so is triangular cooperation. We emphasize triangular cooperation a lot at UNOSSC, um, but it, 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 it complements um, um, traditional uh, cooperation schemes. Um, but despite the, the fact that people understand now that um, South-South uh, and horizontal uh, cooperation works, um, that um, that potential has not been fully optimized. And um, so there was this need for uh, creating uh, tools to, to, to reach this optimization. So the demand from member countries and from other UN agencies was for us to come up with a systematic and an effective approach to knowledge management and to partnership brokering um, in order to, to facilitate South-South cooperation and support developing countries in achieving their, um, uh, their development goals. Um, so, um, so in here, we, we mentioned the Secretary General uh, report on the role of South-South cooperation on the implementation of 2030 agenda. Um, so basically, uh, there was a lot of discussion within the UN system um, on how we could um, um, fully um, um, fully um, optimize South South cooperation and and take it to the next level. Um, so, what is South South Galaxy? So South South Galaxy is kind of the so it's UNOSSC's response to this demand for a systematic uh, uh, um, and strategic way of uh, of uh, approaching uh, knowledge management, knowledge sharing, and partnership brokering. Um, so it is this. Um, um, it's a consolidated solutions platform. Uh, so partners of the South uh, in the United Nations systems, um, um, they can uh, come together and share their experiences and uh, share the knowledge and also gain a lot of knowledge, talk to one another and, and collaborate. So it's a, it's a pretty simple idea, especially nowadays in the, in, we are in the digital era. Um, so it makes sense for us to have this digital repository of Southern knowledge. Um, so it also acts as a needs broker. So, so we can connect countries and regions for knowledge sharing, for capacity development, and for um, creating opportunities for partnership and entrepreneurship. Um, it also complements and links existing South-South cooperation platforms by other partners. So I will, I will show you how that works within the platform when we get, I give you the walkthrough. 
Um, and it's also being expanded through uh, interagency co cooperation. So we, we cooperate with other UN agencies um, in order to expand uh, the, the scope of South South Galaxy. Um, we are also creating tailored solutions for us, for our partners. So uh, I will also show you that on the platform. Um, okay, so the objectives, the broad objectives of South South Galaxy are to serve as a connector for Southern partners, to serve as a partnership brokering platform, and to serve as an advisory support platform. Um, so as I said, we the, the platform is kind of divided into two main areas. One is knowledge sharing, where we have solutions and good practices, where you have South South Global Thinkers, which is our research arm of the galaxy. It's a, it's a, it's another platform um, uh, from UNOSSC that is a, a network of over 200 think tanks from the global south um, that are producing knowledge and exchanging knowledge um, in this, um, which is what we call the research arm of the galaxy. We also have knowledge products, publications, research, etc. And we also have the latest, which is where we have our blog, uh, where we have um, news and events and, and um, webinars that we, we've been doing. Uh, I think we, we've done over 40 webinars last year because of the pandemic. Um, and then on the partnership broker platform, we have financing mechanisms, we have capacity development, we have organizations, um, um, advisory services and experts. I will go into detail on all of this when we are uh, going through the platform. Um, one of the one of the 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 main things that differentiate the Galaxy from other platforms is that we are making use of uh, artificial intelligence and uh, new technologies in order to improve user experience. So. If you are a registered organization on the Galaxy, and it's and it's good to emphasize that the Galaxy is uh, a network of organizations. Um, we don't uh, people don't register as individuals, but as uh, representatives of organizations. Um, so once an organization is registered, um, the user will have a dashboard that will suggest. Um, suggest solutions and suggest organizations for them to connect with based on the way that they use uh, the platform. So I will also show you that um, when we do the walkthrough. Um, I just talked about this, the, the artificial intelligence um, algorithm. So um, the Galaxy um, has been used on all levels, um, we've um, we have partners on the global, regional, and country level, um, and actually, uh, right now, um, we are even developing a tailored solution for uh, one of UNOCC's uh, flagship projects, which is the Cities Project, um, which is um, um, which is uh, sorry. Da -da -da. Um, the Cities Project, which is a, a, a city to city partnership uh, uh, brokering project. Um, and I will, um, I will show you the page. It's still under development. So we are creating cities clusters where they can uh, have thematic conversations on COVID-19 response, on um, transport and air quality, or on waste management. Um, and um, disaster risk reduction. So we are creating this thematic uh, knowledge uh, exchange um, hubs uh, within the platform. Um, so here are some of the milestones that we achieved. So right now we have over 300 registered organizations on the galaxy. So these are governments, these are UN agencies, these are um, IFIs, these are intergovernmental and international organizations and other developing partners. Um, we have over 500. Um, I think we're almost reaching 600 uh, submitted solutions 
um, on South South and Triangular Cooperation for Sustainable Development. Um, we have an average of 6,000 visitors a month. Um, we are, um, so the platform will be serving as an e-facility for South-South cooperation. Um, as I said, this is, this is uh, what, what I was talking about when I was mentioning tailored solutions. So we are working with G7+, Plus, which is um, an international organization um, of uh, LDCs and fragile states. So states that have been in conflict or that are currently in conflict. Um, so we are creating a virtual uh, parliamentary uh, assembly, so a virtual uh, sec secretariat for, for G7+. Plus. Um, so this will be bringing this parliament uh, together to provide support to each other um, when it comes to matters of peace, uh, development, uh, resilience, et cetera. So fragile states matters. Um, so these, uh, we are, will also connect over 300 cities and institutions from the Global South in this city plus, Cities Clusters uh, initiative that I was just mentioning. Um, and we will also have another tailored solution for the UN Office for Counterterrorism um, that it will also be a, 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 a thematic repository of, of good practices and, um, and other knowledge um, exchange. Um, and, and also online dialogues. We've done over 40 webinars in the past year uh, in the context of the pandemic. Um, and we are continuing to do so. Actually, we have one, uh, I believe, tomorrow. <laughs> um, so we are expanding this um, user base for collaboration. Uh, we are working together with partners such as uh, EBRAF um, and, uh, and trying to bring uh, uh, more partners into the platform in order to expand our database of knowledge from the South. Um, yes. So South South Galaxy has an online network. So yeah, so the the the, the idea, the, the idea as I said behind having a digital platform is is for UNOSSC um, to you know get into the 21st century and and make use of available technology um, to um, to uh, uh, multiply the effects of uh, development solutions. So, so this uh, this um, this strategy was recognized in the UN system wide strategy on South South cooperation. Um, so, South South Galaxy was considered a, a catalytic tool um, for programming actions. Um, um, meaning that um, the UN system is fully behind the platform when it comes to um, um, stimulate, stimulating South-South exchange. Um, yeah, I think I touched on this. So um, I think it's better if you guys see it um, yourselves. So I'm going to um, change my screen sharing. Just give me one second. There you go. So, um, so this is the landing page of South South Galaxy. So you can go either to explore South South Galaxy or log into My Galaxy. Um, I will first go to uh, the South South Galaxy part. This is the open part that is you know, open to all um, and you can all access it. Um, so usually when I'm doing screen sharing, uh, it takes a while to load, so just bear with me. Um, so here on the homepage of the Galaxy, um, you will see immediately that separation that I was talking about when it comes to knowledge sharing and partnership brokering. Um, you will see here on the menu, um, and you will also see under here. Um, I will first go through the, the, the homepage itself, then we'll, we'll go through 
the two of those. Um, so in here, you can find a, a page that's talking about the, how UNFCC is, is acting in response to COVID-19. Um, and here is where we highlight our partners. So um, in here, we have other South-South cooperation portals. Um, so um, you have uh, the UNDESA SDG Good Practices Portal, uh, the World Bank South-South Facility, WFP South-South Cooperation. So you, we are highlighting them here. Um, and on this side, you have Partner of the Month. Um, so every month we have, we highlight a different partner. Um, so this month is the UN Office uh, of South uh, of Counterterrorism. Um, I will open the page and show it to you in a minute. So um, actually you were talking, John Powell, about IFAD um, and their knowledge portal. I I'm just finishing drafting um, of their, um, they are our next partner of the month. And we will be talking about their, uh, their good practices uh, knowledge portal um, there. So it should, be, it should be online either later today or tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not the one uploading it. Um, in here, you also have some of the, the news and events um, all on the homepage. Okay, so um, in here, when you go to search South South Galaxy, you're not just searching the website. As I said, we, we uh, aim to uh, connect and link existing uh, uh, knowledge platforms. So this, um, this search engine we call our mini Google um, is a South-South cooperation mini Google. So you can come here and you uh, search for, um, I don't know, um, COVID-19 South-South cooperation. And then uh, the, the, the search engine will filter through um, our partners website. So you can find content from uh, not just from us, but also from them. Um, so in here, um, I think this, this could be very useful for, for you guys in your research. So um, just a reminder here, for best results, please include South South Cooperation in your search term. So if you're looking for, um, I don't know, um, um, regional, um, regional cooperation on, on health, um, then you can, uh, uh, you can type South South Cooperation regional um, and health, um, and then you will find results there. Um, so going to the knowledge sharing side, um, we have solutions, research, and the latest. So um, first here on solutions, um, I will show you the good practices. So um, this, this is also, this is part of my galaxy, but in here, um, under good practices, you can filter through uh, the good practice that we have. Um, um, you can filter by SDGs, right? Um, we have more advanced filters on, on my galaxy, but I, I wanted to show you that. So, so if you click here on poverty, um, it will give you solutions that are on SDG one. Um, So, and also you will, on this page, you will also find um, our good practices, uh, uh, good practices in South South and Triangular Cooperation for Sustainable Development series. This is a flagship series that has been uh, um, uh, developed by the UNOSSC since 2016. So we released the third edition last year. Um, and also the thematic, series that we started actually with the Brazil Africa Institute last year as well, uh, which is the, the good practices in South-South cooperation in the context of food security. I promise I'll, I'll make this walk through quick. So um, in here, we also have the South-South in Action uh, uh, publication series, which is produced um, also together with partners. Um, um, so it basically is a platform where partners can highlight projects that they're working on. Um, so we've had um, UN agencies, like for example, this one is with UNV. Um, this one is with the China Africa Development Fund. 
this one is with CESRIC, which is uh, uh, the Statistical Economic and Social Research and Training Center for Islamic countries. Um, so we have a lot of different thematic um, um, so, uh, publications here that you can search through um, that could also be useful for your research. Um, and in here you have a more general uh, publications page. Um, it's also searchable here. Um, so we have publications both from UNOSSC and from our partners. Um, yeah, and, and then you can filter through them through our uh, keyword search. Um, and in here you can uh, share your solution. So if you are a registered organization, um, you can uh, share your own solution uh, uh, as well. And here, if you click here, you will have a form. Um, if you go to research, uh, it, it talks about the research arm of the galaxy. As I told you, we have South South Global Thinkers, which is a network of over 200 uh, think tanks. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the research that is available on Global Thinkers is open to the public. Uh, South South Global Thinkers is not an open platform. Um, it's, um, as I said, a platform for um, think tanks for, uh, from the South. <coughs> so um, it's kind of an invitation uh, based uh, uh, registration, but uh, a lot of the content of the platform is available to the public. So you can come here and you go to the South South Global Thinkers webpage and you will have access to all of that research and all of that knowledge. Um, and here also a lot of a lot of those research papers are available on the galaxy as well. Um, under the latest, we have um, our news and updates, our COVID response page. We have our blog. Um, actually, um, we are going to. I, I think the next blog that we will be a lot uh, um, publishing. Um, under under our South South Galaxy blog will be actually authored by our friend John Paolo. Um, he sent he sent us a draft um, earlier today, and he will be talking about the the, the collaboration between Ibraf and uh, and UNOSC. Um, so yeah, and here we have the South South Profile series uh, where we have leaders from the UN system talking about South South cooperation. These are basically interviews. Um, you have events and you can also submit your own event. Um, you and also see webinars are also here, um, the blog and also our newsletter archive. So you can, um, we have a bi-monthly newsletter and you can access all of them um, in here under the latest. So if you go to partnership brokering, um, we can have, we, we, we have financing and services um, sorry, yes, um, I think there's someone, there's someone with the hands up, um, Mr. Blessing, can you, can you unmute yourself? You can, you, you want to ask a question? No? Okay, okay. okay. Uh, sorry for interrupting. Uh, can you hear me clearly? Yes. All right, all right. Uh, uh, I, I thought it's better I would ask now. Uh, with regards, you, you, you mentioned the gap between the UN system and let's say the, the South South Galaxy in terms of technology. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the, the, the what? You, you mentioned of, of the gap between uh, the advancement of technology, the way in which you are addressing AI, uh, let's say uh, finance technologies, and, and in comparison to the UN system. Now, uh, what, what, what is, how can we address this gap with regards to developing countries, uh, let's say in Africa and Brazil? Because I, I'm having the same problem when I'm trying to research on technology gaps uh, between, uh, let's say Brazil and Africa. Mm -hmm. And we, recog we recognize that uh, there's no information on, let's say, blockchain uh, of supply chain finance uh, between Brazilian and, uh, and African countries. 
Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you intend to address this gap? Because we are trying to research, let's say, on, on blockchain, but there is no information available. So that, that, that is the question I thought I should ask you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so um, specifically for South South Galaxy, um, the way that we believe um, at least um, part of that can be um, advanced um, it, um, is through um, knowledge sharing, right? So, um, for example, you talked about uh, fintech, right? Financial technology. So, in here, we produced um, uh, a research paper uh, under the Global Thinkers Initiative, spe specifically talking about South South cooperation and, and fintech. So, you can access that knowledge on South South Galaxy and also on South South Global Thinkers. Um, and also um, something that I was about to show you um, on our partnership brokering um, um, side of the platform, um, we also um, offer um, um, contact or uh, we, we actually put people together um, uh, with experts from the UN system and from our partners uh, in order to resolve specific um, um, development issues. So um, if, you have, um, if you have a specific question um, that needs to be addressed, we can try to put you in touch with an expert from the UN system in order to get some advice and some advisory service uh, from them. Um, usually that is, um, usually that happens, um, um, usually you come with a tangible uh, um, a concern um, or a project that you want to um, that you want to develop, and and then we try to put you in touch with um, with with someone. Um, but you know it's 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 kind of tricky because um, uh, being a, a cooperation facilitation uh, uh, agency, uh, this is this is what we usually do. So, for example, we had a contact. Um, reach us this week from the government of Ghana. Um, they are uh, trying to develop an e-filing system for their government data. So they can uh, digitalize everything and have everything on computers and, and not rely on paper trails so much. Um, so we don't digitalize anything, right? But we have a partner in Bangladesh, the South South Network for Public Service Innovation, who um, who has a lot of experience with public service innovation and um, who might be able to help. So we put them together and they can, um, they can collaborate and exchange. Um, and this is also what I'm going to show you on the My Galaxy side of the website. Um, let me just wrap up this side and then um, we'll, we'll go into more details over there, okay? Um, and also, if I don't uh, if I don't answer your question, uh, uh, you can please uh, ask another one after I finish the, the presentation. Yeah, thanks. Um, so in here, if you go to financing, uh, you will have you will find information on existing financing mechanisms, both mechanisms that are uh, managed by UNOCC. Um, we have the, the, the UN Fund for South South Cooperation. We have the IPSA Fund, which is the India, Brazil, and South Africa Fund, a facility for um, poverty and hunger alleviation. Um, we have the India UN Development Partnership Fund and the Paris Guerrero Fund. Um, so these funds, um, so if you click on each of those, you will have information on who are uh, the target audience, uh, what kind of projects we are funding, um, any news and updates on existing projects and information on um, uh, funding uh, applications. Um, and also we have other funds that are managed by our partners. We are always trying to bring others that are, you see here, this one, the deadline is 31st of May. So we are, we are always trying to bring in um, um, the latest um, financing opportunities. Um, also in here under services, we have advisory services, so you can uh, send a request for, I don't know, needs assessment, for example, um, or any other um, uh, advice 
on uh, on uh, advancing a South South cooperation project. Um, capacity development. Let me click. Let me show you the capacity development page. It's similar to what we have on, under financing. We have capacity development initiatives that are managed by UNSCC, and we also have capacity development uh, initiatives that are managed by our partners. Um, so in here, you can find information on them, understand how um, you can benefit from them, um, and send out your applications if, if available. So in here, you see, for example, we have the EBRAF Fellowship Program here. Um, all right, sorry, back to services. Um, in here, we have experts. This is something that um, you uh, you have been using uh, for the IBRA Fellowship. Um, so as I said, we have a, a, a repository, a database of experts from the UN system. Um, these are our colleagues from other agencies um, that we work on uh, uh, joint projects with. Um, in here, for example, Carlos and Martha are very close colleagues from UNICEF and PAHO. We've been doing a lot of work um, um, during this COVID-19 uh, COVID crisis. Um, we also have um, some experts from other agencies, um, WFP, UNFPA, UNDP, um, and also from other um, organizations. Right, so we have here the, the, the Tata Institute of Social Science in India. Um, we have uh, the China Agricultural University. They're, they're developing a lot of different projects that you can find also on the Galaxy. So you can, um, you can click on, let me click on Bobby here. Uh, uh, you can click on any of these and you can look at their bio um, and their background. Um, and you, you can find their contact information directly. So you can either contact them directly. Um, a lot of people do that, um, but other people prefer to contact us and ask us to, to make the introductions. So that can happen too. So I think Marina here uh, uh, utilized this service before and we connected her with Bobby and also with Carlos, I think, right? Um, and in, in order to, to help her with her research. Um, so this is, this is, I think, a very interesting uh, um, feature of the Galaxy for you guys as uh, Ibra Fellowship researchers. So in order to go through organizations, I'm going to go to the My Galaxy side just so we can speed it up so I, I, I'm not the only one talking. Um, so once an organization is uh, registered, uh, the user under that organization will have a dashboard just like this. So uh, the dashboard is where you find all of the, the user, uh, user only kind of information. So if you are not a registered user, you can still go through the solutions and organizations, but you will not have this dashboard. This dashboard is where you, um, here, the, the, the artificial intelligence is suggesting me uh, solutions and organizations that I should look into and try to connect. And also in here, I have my favorite organizations and solutions. So um, what does that mean? So once an organization is registered, uh, they will have a profile um, on the Galaxy. So when you're registering, you register under eBRAF, for example. Um, eBRAF has already been registered. Uh, so so uh, if I look for Brazil, Africa, Brazil, Africa, I, um, and then uh, the Brazil Africa Institute a profile will show up here. And then you can, uh, you can see the information that they shared. Um, so you have a description, um, a URL, the, the SDGs that they work on. And you can, uh, here, our interactive features allow you to add it to favorites. So it will go, it will show up on your dashboard, but also you can connect. So if you click connect to any organization, um, 
you can uh, you will see this form and then you can uh, choose the kind of connection, the type of connection that you're looking for. Um, and you can write a message, uh, confirm your email address, and that message will go directly to the organization focal point. So currently we have over 300 organizations on the galaxy. So that means that you are able to connect directly um, to them. Um, we also have here on, on, on my galaxy, we have the solutions, right? So this is um, um, what the galaxy was um, created for. Um, so the main, uh, the main objective of South South Galaxy is to serve as a database um, of development solutions from the South. Um, so for example, if you click here on this solution that was actually featured on one of our good practices, um publications um you will have you see the here challenge and towards a solution which is a description of the the um, this project um and you will you will also have the the information on what is the primary sdg that is uh targeting and and what what what's the secondary uh what are the secondary sdgs What's the status of the project? Um, who is implementing it? What countries um, um, are targeted or are involved in this project? Um, who's supporting it? Some pictures. And then here you can also add it to your favorites. This one is one of my favorites. And you can also connect directly to a solution. So if you see a solution that is interesting, um, for your research, you can uh, directly connect with the, the focal points that are responsible for that solution. So I think that could be also a, a great asset for you guys to use. Um, other than that, I think um, I think that's the that's the gist of it. In here, you can manage your connections. So if you have um, if you have connected to anyone your connections will show up here um, and you can also submit a request so if you haven't found anything specifically um, that that specifically targets what you are looking for you can request information by filing uh, about by filling out this form that that will show up here Rafael, I think you have covered all of your presentation uh, towards how to use the platform, uh, the goals, the the main objectives here. Would you like to add something specific towards, towards that? Um, no, I just um, um, when it comes to the to the Ibra Fellowship specifically, I just want to emphasize that. Um, so this is the this is the first year that we are uh, having a closer collaboration for the fellowship program. So um, this um, you guys this cohort of, of fellows from from Ibra um, is the first one that is directly uh, using the galaxy for um, for uh, helping in your research. Um, so we we are really excited about this partnership, and we want to be uh, as useful an asset as possible. So my my final message is is that maybe um, um, try and explore the website and see uh, what we offer in terms of services and in terms of knowledge um, that can be useful for you. And uh, please do uh, contact us in case you're, uh, what you're looking for is not available. So we can try to uh, make arrangements um, um, to facilitate uh, you actually finding what you're looking for.